Hi, both of you. Three of you now. Hi. Happy Sunday. Welcome. I don't see names, but I see numbers. So welcome, welcome. We still have a little while, three whole minutes. If you don't have your catalogs and maybe an ink pen to mark things up, you have a few minutes to go grab those things. Hey, Bev Stokes, how are you? Happy birthday, kind of in person, since you um, were busy on your birthday. Hey, Robin, congratulations, I'm so excited for you. We're gonna get started in a few minutes. We're going to be working from page 54 of the um, current mini. Hey, Kathy Austin. Hi, welcome. Hi, Joyce. Joyce, I didn't realize that Jill was with you last week. I wish I would have saw that. I saw it afterwards. Um, tell her hi for me. I just love both of you guys. So fun. You guys get to see each other. Going to get started in two minutes now. Hey, Karen, Karen Kirshner. Try to say last names so because I've got duplicate first names here. Hey, Patty, welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We've been doing okay. Is she? J oh, good. Joyce, I hope Jill does make it. Cool. Cool. What an honor you guys have you guys here. Hey, Marilyn. Eileen, welcome. There's Carol Grove. Hi there, my friend. Hi, Janet. Hey, Debbie. Debbie Warden. Sliding down in my chair. One more minute. Thanks for being on time, guys. We're gonna have a fun one tonight, I think, I hope. Let me get Alexa off so she does, I don't know if, you, if the music bothers you guys or if you can even hear it, but I'm gonna turn it off and just in case. Alexa, turn off. Okay, there's Debbie Pine. Hey, my friend. Hey, Nancy. Resin hearts, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm using them again tonight. They're so stinking cute. Aw, oh, thanks, Carol. What a sweet thing to say. All right, it's seven o'clock. Let's get started. Um, Snail Mail Suite, page 54 of your current mini. Um, I was introduced to a new fold also. Um, I was watching uh, Patty Bennett and she did a fold. I hadn't, I don't think I'd seen it before, but if I did, I'm giving her credit anyway because she refreshed my memory on that. I think she said that she had a, a downline send her the card and so she was sharing the fold. It's really cute, so hang around and I've got a few extra samples um, using other sweets and other product with that same fold. You're going to love to have this fold in your little um, pack of uh, knowledge because it's very, very versatile. I used everything in the suite on page 54 for tonight's project. The suite is $69.50, which allows you to get a free celebration set since it is celebration and it's the time to at least spend $50 if your list is that long because um, you'll get a free item from the celebration catalog. All of the dies in this bundle also work in the mini. Uh, quite a few of you are buying the little mini. One, one of my gals said, it's just cute. I just have to have it because it's cute. But it is, very, um, it is very fun to have it right on your desk and very light and be able to take it places with you. So um, I really like it. So in the annual catalog, if you have that, I'm using basic gray for my base and white cardstock, scraps of it. And then if you want, when I show you the back, you can line the back of the card to put your message if you want, so white cardstock. You'll find those cardstocks. Hi, Diane. Thank you for sprinkling, my dear. 
um, on page 142 and 143, and I'm also using the basic gray ink on the same page. I'm using watercolor pencils to color in tonight. Um, sometimes we forget about them, and they're a lot of fun because um, they're easy to use. There's a ton of colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you get uh, a streakiness in them, you can just make that go completely smooth with your Wink Estella. And then everything's sparkly too, or with your um, aqua painters if you'd like. Hey, Carol Schaefer, how are you? And so I use those. They're on page 144. And then, as I just mentioned, one uh, Wink Estella, page 147. We always need our paper trimmer, page 151. Our bone folder and snips, page 159. And I'm using Shimmer Ribbon on page 161. It's really pretty. It's in a gray color too, so it matches the base. Um, liquid glue, dimensional, silicone craft sheet, uh, page 162, your chamois, your grid paper, your, your stamp blocks, page 163, and label me fancy punch, page 166. That's a fun punch. It's, it's, uh, it's, good. it's a good size, so you can stamp um, a sentiment on it, but it also comes with, hey, Kathy Spencer, it also comes with a, a slot and a, and a little hole, a small hole for ribbon. So it's, it's a useful punch. And sometimes maybe we haven't noticed it. So I wanted to show you, and I'm gonna show you a little trick with it too, on my second card um, that I have as a sample. Um, so don't leave me early because I have some additional samples like I mentioned at the beginning. Um, I used, what I like to do is I've been showing you on page 11, the Love You Always suite. So um, I think one, two samples um, have the Love You Always suite used, plus the designer series paper is used twice with that. And um, so I wanted to show you that. So a lot of you have ordered it, so you have more ways to use it. And then the art gallery bundle, I really haven't played with that online yet. Thank you for sprinkling, Karen Kirsch. And, um, but it's beautiful, it's on page 34. And I use that a little bit um, on one of my samples. And then the Simply Succulent bundle and the Daisy Punches, because I know a lot of you have the Daisy Punches. Hey, Maria. And so I wanted to show you, don't forget about those punches, they're so cool. And when I did my uh, box opening when I got all my new product. I told you I like the succulent bundle a lot in the stamp set because it had a big pot and I love planter pot pots and so I used that on one of my samples too. So that's what I used. Let me close that up and let me tell you who won last week's card. This is last week's card. It's a pocket card and she's on tonight. Hey, Cynthia, welcome. And the winner tonight are from last, Roseanne, welcome. Last week's card is Carol Schaefer. And Carol, I do have your address. I looked it up before tonight's live, so you don't have to worry about sending me that. I have it, you've won before. And so this will go out in the mail tomorrow since I know I have your address. Okay, so congratulations to you. In case you forgot or you didn't watch, it has a little pull out and a pocket. So this is gonna go all the way to Connecticut, to Carol. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, I wanted to talk to you about the basic, um, you're welcome, you're welcome. I wanted to talk to you about the white card stocks that are being um, changed over and basic white card stock. If you have a pen with you or a pencil and piece of paper, I was gonna print it out and my printer stopped working. I don't know what's going on with it. Electronics are supposed to make your life easier and it wouldn't print so I just wrote it out real quick But here are the new codes for the new uh, white Products that used to be uh, Whisper white now. It's called basic white. Hey, Annie and so basic white cardstock eight and a half by eleven item number one five nine two seven six one five nine two seven six the thick cardstock one five nine two two nine the 12 by 12, 159231. Envelopes, 159236. Note cards and envelopes, 159232. Sounds like I'm playing bingo, kind of. Three by three envelopes, 159233. 
And memories and more cards and envelopes, 159234. Okay, so um, if, if anybody needs those numbers, needs to see them or whatever, let me know and I will show them again. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys down so we can get started. So here we go. Hey, Barbara, welcome. Back that up a little bit. Oh, you know what else? Okay, some of you have already sprinkled, and I really, really, really appreciate that. I'm trying to get my viewer count up. We've been doing pretty good. I get a lot of people watching the replays too, so thank you very much. Hey, Virginia, happy Sunday. Um, hi, Cindy. But I wanted to share, um, I want to remind hi Barbara Chandler can I ask you is the whisper white paper going away the whisper white paper is going away and they have come up with a uh, another it's called basic white they tested it they're ensuring us that it's very good very very close to um, the whisper white but um, they didn't take that lightly and they did a lot of work to make sure that we're going to be very happy with the new paper so that is what I know here is my hostess code for January. And thank you, by the way, to everybody that's ordered from me already. And here is my address if you want to go to my shop and place an order. The other thing I want to share with you is that I received a, a mailbox drop from, um, this one was from Julia. And I wanted to show it because it's so pretty. I like her little technique here. I love her choice of colors, um, but I wanted to share that. And she literally made my day. Um, what she says inside, she's very eloquent, but what she says inside basically is that she loves to watch Sunday Night Lives because she has learned so much from me. And that just warmed my heart so much because that is my goal to teach. And so knowing that I taught, especially Julia, something, um, she's a very, very, very good stamper. Um, it just was wonderful to hear. So I was very happy with that. Hey, Sherry Piazza. And then I got, this one's from Liz, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, Liz sent me a check for her order in the mail and it came in this beautiful card. Isn't that cute? I just love everything about it. So I wanted to share that. Liz doesn't have Facebook, but she watched, She looks at the replays um, on Mondays. And so thank you very much, Liz. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. And then this one is not handmade, but... Um, I thought it was beautiful. Look at that. So I just wanted to share that one with you that I got in the mail this week with a really, really nice note. All right, so there's my mail that I got from friends this week. Let's get started. I'm gonna need, need my paper trimmer first to cut my cardstock. And like I mentioned, I'm using basic gray. Gabriella, hi, welcome. Yes, Julia is sweet. Um, and we're gonna take the 11, 11 inch side of the cardstock, so we're laying it portrait style into our cutter, paper trimmer, and we're gonna put the end of the cardstock at five and a half, and we are gonna cut, and we're gonna have two bases now. Okay, that simple. Now we're gonna put this cutting blade up out of the way, and we're gonna pay attention to the scoring blade. And if you want to write these down, now is the time. It's really easy, but now is the time to get your pencil out and your paper. I'm putting the end of the cardstock. I'm still portrait style. So the long side at the top at two inches, right here at two inches. And I am going to score a line. Then I'm going to swing over to three and an eighth. And I am going to score another line. And I know you probably are screaming at me to show you the card, and I will in just one second. I honestly forgot, so I'll do that right now as soon as I finish scoring. So, oh, so now I started, stopped, I scored the, the uh, two-inch line and then the three and an eighth, and then I just flipped it around, and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I think that's easier 
than saying now go to six and whatever and seven, you know, just the same measurements over twice I thought was easier. So two and three and an eighth, and that's all you have to remember, and you'll have the perfect score lines for this card. See up there? So you've got two inches in here, or two and a quarter, and then we're gonna fold these down, and then here you have two inches. All right. Donna, do you have a YouTube account? I do, Donna. I have been having major issues trying to upload. Otherwise, they would be on YouTube. But I have had major issues trying to upload my Facebook Lives onto YouTube. Some are there, but not very many, and they're way back. And the problem, I, I, I can't, can't figure out how to do it. When I have a lot of time, <laughs> which is hardly ever, I will look at that again. Yes, people have asked me that before. I think I missed an Irene. Let me see if I can. Irene Childs. Hi, and Jenny Miller. Hey, welcome. Belkis. That, what a pretty name. Whoa, Belkis. Okay. So, okay, back to my scoring. Here's the card. Is this not the cutest thing? This stamp set is the cutest thing. Well, I mentioned the fun fold was um, uh, uh, shown to me by Bennett, on a video by uh, Patty Bennett. The design is mine. Hers is completely different, completely different stamps and stuff. Very pretty also, though. But I wanted to use this set really, really bad because it's just stinking adorable. So that's what I did. So let me show you how to fold this now. So what I do, you're going to need your bone folder, is I just burnish all my lines. all the basics like we always do. And then the two, these two are gonna go up and these smaller ones are gonna go back. So valley, mountain, mountain, valley. And then you have this type of a card. And I'm gonna show you something else that I, <clears throat> that I didn't learn when I learned to do this fold from Patty. Um, my brain went a little wild and so I did a few other things that I'm going to show you. So the, isn't that a cute fold, you guys? Let me scroll. Okay, good. Okay, now I've scrolled and I can see everybody's comments. So here's, this is, this is two and a quarter inches wide here. And so I've got a two inch piece here that was already cut left over from my, from my card that I made um, the other day. So all the lengths are five and a quarter because this is the standard size. So this does fit in an envelope, standard size. So let's cut this DSP at five and a quarter. And I need two more strips for the other panels. But I'm going to flip this one over and use the back for here. See underneath there you can see that I used the back. And then I... Um, these side panels are one and three quarters wide. So the end of my paper is at one and three quarters. And like I said, everything is five and a quarter inches long. So very easy. Yet very cute because it kind of pops up at you and it's different. So this designer series paper is absolutely adorable. In fact, I had a problem trying to decide which paper to use out of the pack because they're all so stinking cute. All right, I'm gonna flip these over and I'm gonna put them onto the base using my liquid glue. So like I said, this card is very basic um, so far. Well, it's pretty basic all the way through, actually. Nothing hard on it, just a lot of bank for your buck. It's super cute. Okay. So... The little, 
They're like little uh, framed, different color squares. My daughter, Heather, came over yesterday and she noticed this card sitting, I had it sitting on the kitchen table for some reason. Oh no, it's one of the other samples I had sitting on the kitchen table and she loved that one. Love, love, love that one. So then I came out and got this one and she loved this one even more because it's so stinking cute. She's a kindergarten teacher. She's a director at a school, but she teaches kindergarten. And um, she loved the colors. She said, Mom, those colors are just adorable. Oh, may I brag about my Heather for a minute? Um, those of you that follow me on Facebook, she just uh, published a book on Amazon. And it's the sweetest darn book ever. And this week, they're sending her her author's copy uh, paperback. And um, if she approves it, then that will also be on Amazon. So I've got a little... Um, writer also and it's books for it's for ch children's books and you wait to use if you see it if you go online and just see that it's called can your goose do that because my mom's nickname is goose so it's all about my mom it's the cutest thing ever you're just gonna have to go see all right so here's my scrap white paper and that's to stamp on so let me do that now and I'm using basic gray. I think I said that when I mentioned all the products I used. And I'm using the super cute stamp set. I'm using the snail. And um, what snail did I use? Yeah, that one. And I'm using the um, mushrooms. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> yes, proud mama. Oh my gosh. I mean, I just bawled my eyes out when I saw that that book because she it was all about my mom and then she gave major kudos and a nod to my dad. My dad had a truck that was his pride and joy, a vintage truck. And so in the book, it shows my mom driving the truck when she's talking about when her goose truck she says, my goose drives me to school. I think, that's what it, I think that's what that page says. Can your goose do that? And it's in my dad's truck. Oh, and what you have to know is the license plate on the truck is my dad's birthday. See, she thought of everything. That girl, she just thought of everything. Couldn't believe it. So I'm bawling my eyes out. So that made her cry. And <laughs> she kept saying, do you love it, mom? I'm like, oh my God, do I love it? Are you kidding me? I'm going to use the punch I talked about, and I'm going to, pu oh, let me see, make sure, I you know what, I'm going to get another piece, because I don't want to punch out that guy. Hey, Susan. Okay, so I'm going to punch out this punch, and see how it has a slot, and it has a hole for ribbon, but I'm going to use this right now. I'm going to use it again in a second. Okay, but the reason I wanted to punch it out now because I'm going to get my stamping done. And I'm going to do, um, you've got mail. No, you snailed it. You snailed it. That's what I put on here. And get it lined up on my grid paper and stamp and camera Whew. and glare. And I've got to bring it down here. I can't see it. Hope you guys can still see. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, um, Annie, it should it should be out this week. It, like I said, if she approves the uh, her author copy. Okay, so let's color next before I cut things out. And um, I'm using the. Um, Page 144 is where you're going to find them. Here's their code item, but I'm using the assortment two. Um, here's the assortment two, and I'm going to use, am I using those? I think I just wanted to show you those. I'm going to use these. This is the um, other pack of pens, but I've got a double set because remember I said I have, used to have classes here all the time, and if people wanted to use them, I didn't want them to wait. So I have two sets in here. So I'm going to start by just coloring his little eyeballs yellow. I'm going to leave the envelope white just because it's an envelope. And so 
leaving that white. And then I'm taking the basic gray and I'm just gonna color the snail gray. And I like to go in a circular motion and I don't worry about streaking because my little Wink of Stella will smooth all that out for me. Yes, you do need to get the, if you have grandchildren or children from the ages like two to six, because it's an educational book. And um, she told me with bigger words um, that it teaches children the difference between a statement and a question, which is very hard for them to understand. And I didn't realize that, but that's what she said. So um, she's all about teaching. So I'm gonna grab a green and I'm gonna come up here and just really carefully, or really quickly is what I meant to say, color in this part. Try not to take too long. You guys all know how to do this. Oh, and on this, the um, stems, I went to yellow on all of them, and then I went over it again in green. And I liked that. It just made it its own color, really. Darker on the grass. Okay, and like I said, don't worry about um, any streaking because we're going to get rid of that with the Stella. Okay, and then I'm going to take a pink. What's this one? This is Calypso Coral. This is Melon Mambo. Let me see. Rich Razzleberry, I'll do Mambo. You love the watercolor pencils? Who's saying that? Kathy Smith, yeah, they're, they're really nice. They're really, really nice. And um, like I said, if you don't wanna spend a lot of time this is a really good way to get color in fast because these are a little detailed. I'm sure if you have the time, I've got to play with this set with the blends too. I'm sure it's gorgeous. But see the streaks? Not that pretty coloring, but all you have to do is take Stella and go right over and it just smooths all the color out very nicely. See that? I do stick with just the pink. I'm going around the yellow. I don't want to mix the colors. And then before I go to the yellow, I, I swiped off onto my scrap here so, um, so I don't mix the colors. Oops, I forgot it. Forgot one. We often do forget about the watercolor pencils. Yes, we do. So that's a good reminder. And the Stella is just, you know, how it, because it's a liquid, it just makes these, because they're watercolor pencils, so that tells you that water will make them uh, smooth out. But instead of using um, the um, aqua painters, I just thought, well, you know, I want it to sparkle anyway, so I'll just use Stella and see what happens, and it's perfect, because I don't have to smooth it out and then go back with Stella. I just use Stella and she does all the work for me. Okay, so I'm gonna add one of my resin hearts to the envelope, but I have to go through the, um, through the mini first. So I'm not gonna do that yet, but that finishes it off. See how cute it looks with the little heart on there? Okay. I know um, P 
people have ordered this already, and it came like in two days. I was like, what? How did that come so fast? But it did. So that's awesome to know that if you get it, it comes really quickly. Here's the dies. They're super cute. They're called snail dies. And I used, let me pull them out. Uh-oh, what just dropped? I used this square for this part here, but I did two of them since it was so long. And then, oh, a little heart fell. I love that it has more than one heart because I use hearts for everything. Here's the snail. And here's the mushroom. So let's pull it back. Put the mushroom in there. Put the snail. That's, that's not the right one. There we go. Okay. All right. And then I love that these angles down so you can like point it down and push it in without moving stuff if you're careful, <laughs> which I wasn't. Oh God, I told myself you say that and it's not going to happen for sure. Okay. Then go through. They are so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable cute. So here he is. And here are the... Oh, you know, last week I was telling you guys that um, some of the dies, if they stay stuck on the acrylic for a minute, not the dies, but the actual cutout, especially if it's um, like a, a sentiment or something thin, and I asked you to pretend it's a baking sheet and it's hot, like your cookies, you don't take them off until they've cooled a second because they fall apart, right? Well, I've been watching some other videos and um, I've noticed that demonstrators are struggling taking their um, thinner pieces off the acrylics. So you need to pass the word that if you just let it set for a second, then you won't have that problem. And um, it's very... A very good little tip because it takes away all that little unnecessary stress and especially if it's a word that you might rip because you're trying to take it off so it's a good little tip there okay so I cut out the squares in advance just so you wouldn't have to wait for that but I wanted to cut out the snails for you see how cute they fit on there so they're just a little over two and a quarter square. And I can put those down. I put them down flat because I'm gonna um, use dimensionals for the actual mushrooms and the snail. But they're like a little postage stamp. You know, it's, it's not a scallop, it's like a postage stamp. Super cute, because it's snail mail. Okay, and then dimensionals on the backs of these guys. And I'm gonna put the, you snailed it on there. Oops, I see this is crooked. Good thing I put it on with glue because it moved and it's crooked. Okay, good, there. Okay, so now I wanna show you my the how you use the little, um, how you can use the little slot. Now you can use this little slot on book, uh, bookmarks, all kinds of things that you need a slot, like you need a box to close it with ribbon, you can use a slot. But this part that comes out here on the regular punch, um, I thought, well, will it fit in there for me to make a slot right on both ends? And it does, look at that. I love that. Hi, Tammy. So I did that. So now you can put ribbon through there and give yourself a little more pizzazz. Isn't that cool? 
Okay, so here's the ribbon. There's the item number. It's in the annual catalog and it's called Shimmer Ribbon. And I just laid it across to see how long I wanted it. And I cut it at an angle. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Glad you liked that. And because it's wide, I cut two pieces. And you just put it in one end. Oh, I'm glad you like it, you guys. And pull it through the other end. And let it lay. And then you get the other one and you do the same thing. In. You issued the name of the punch. Oh my goodness, look at all that, those hearts. You guys are making me happy right now. You missed the, <laughs> you missed the name of the punch. Okay, so this punch, here's the item number. And it's called Label Me Fancy. Okay, so um, I also laid this down flat, so glue. Okay, and because I'm not letting it set up, it might move around, so I gotta keep an eye on it. And then you want to pull your ribbons pretty even. And then if you want to, you can snip them after it's dry. So let's pull the backing off of the mushrooms. And set that down. You snailed it. And then the little snail. Then our raisins, <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh, I keep calling them raisins, resin hearts. And your take your pick tool, which I don't think I mentioned in the list today, shame on me. Come here. It, does that not finish that little envelope off? And then I wanted a couple of white ones. Like I told you guys last time, I've been using these like crazy. And so I, um, I ordered another pack already, but I think I need to order another pack soon because I don't want to run out. It might be better if I lay this flat, huh? To get this on there. Now you might be thinking that, um, where do I write my message? Well, if you wanted to, oh, if you wanted to, you could, do, I'll go to that in a second. If you wanted to, you could put another piece of the cute designer series paper on these panels, but I don't think it's necessary. It might get too busy. I don't know. You can try it. And then I put a few little white ones in there. And look how cute this, I'm going to stand it up so you can see how it looks when it stands up, but look how cute that is. So if you want to write on, the, on your card, I would put a white panel here. And if you want more DSP there, but you don't have to, and then um, you can write your message there. I was wondering when you would lay it flat. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little slow, Virginia. Okay, so you, can, so you can do that. Now, when I flipped it over, I was looking at it, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. That's a cute card, too. We don't just have to do this. We can use the other side and make another type of card, right? Am I right? I think so. So, there's the other side. Now, I said I was gonna teach you something with the, uh, the same punch, label me fancy punch. And that end, again, when you put ribbon around here, I put a piece of um, uh, tear and tape back there so it would stay. But these notches on both ends using the end of the punch really gives it like a, 
a, a waist, if you will. So your ribbon has a place to go in and be, you know, stay nicely. Then here's the hearts from the dies. And here is the happy mail stamp, but there's no die for that. So I have to show you something else. I'm sure you guys want to see my something else. Um, I'm going to take this little piece and just put it in here to show you that you can make a notch. See that? So that's what this is, both of these. But there is no die to cut out the Happy Mail. So I had to come up with something because that stamp is so stinking cute. Let me see if this will fit here. Yeah, that'll fit there. All right, so let me get my gray ink again. And I was like, you know, that's such a cute stamp. Really, there's not a die for that one? Um, and I didn't want to cut it out just with my snips. So I pouted a minute. And after I was done pouting, I figured it out. So I want to show you so you don't pout and you don't have to figure it out. So remember I said there's this square, square die in the set? check it out. You're going to go like this. You know, it probably does now that you say that, but I didn't, I didn't think of that, Bev. She's saying that the, um, the, um, post-it note punch will punch it out. And I bet you it does. Well, aren't you a smarty pants? I didn't even think of that. But if you don't have that and you have the dies, you don't need it because this will do the same thing. So I cut out this side and the top. So now I'm going to push it over here this way and I'm going to make sure I don't cut the top again or that side again. And I'm going to move the square over here and I'm going to cut out just the bottom and the opposite side. Ha ha. And it does it. Look at that. Yay! So if you don't have the punch, or if the punch doesn't work, but I bet it does, um, then you can do it with a square die. Okay? So I wanted you to know that. So now I have another one made. Yay! I just love this set. I couldn't stop playing with it. So hence the samples that you're seeing. The other thing I wanted to show you is the inside of this card. And this ribbon is um, called the metallic ribbon. And I didn't label this one yet. Here's the number though, 154283. And I believe that's with the Love You Always Sweet too. But see how it is glimmer on one side and smooth on the other side. And notice that my bow and my ribbon is all the glimmer. Okay, I'll come back to that after I open it up. So I use the resin hearts again. But look at the inside, that little envelope. Oh, stop. It's just too cute. And the little, this is a die, and you can stamp the hello in there, and you've got your little letter. My daughter, Heather, told me to put another piece of ribbon on there, so if it goes down in, you can pull it out. And I forgot to do that. She's absolutely right. I should do that. And um, But there you go, and you can write your message right here. Isn't that cute, you guys? Oh, love it. Okay, so let me show you how to... How to, um, now, this bow, if you don't like um, fiddling with, with ribbon, then you might use, just use another ribbon that's got the same on both sides. But if you have this ribbon and you, and you have the patience for this, go ahead and watch this. So I'm just making my knot, and I'm pulling it pretty tight. And then I am taking, making a loop and pinching it with my thumb. And where my thumb is is where this 
is going to come around. And it's going to come around on the silky end. So now I have one silk and one glitter. All you have to do is turn this loop inside out. But it does take a little finagle and um, you're, the recipient, if they're not a stamper, won't know how to do that probably. And it'll drive them crazy if they wanna put it back in, you know, back together, tie the bow. So that's all it is with that. Just finagle that little loop to get it to everything to be on the glitter side. And that's all there is to that. Okay, so then I promised you that I was going to show you uh, with the Love You Always stamp set and DSP because I've been showing you that for two, week, two weeks. Here is the, um, the dies, the floral heart dies. I love this one, you guys. I'm really loving that one. Um, and then here is the stamp set that goes with it in case you want to get the bundle. that is so what I did for the banner is I cut one out in black then I cut one out in white and stamped on it and then I cut it with my snips at the innermost score line and then layered it on top of the black because I didn't you know you can't you could you could emboss probably gold or something but I just wanted to stamp with basic black so that's that one but if you look close you see all these little hearts there's a lot of detail in this card um, because the dies are so ornate and of course, black and red is just so um, classic. So, and that paper, that little daisy. So I was playing with this daisy paper and um, I said, daisy, wait a minute, we have daisy punches. So I mentioned the daisy punches to you. So I thought, well, that'll bring out a spring look. And I told you I love the succulent pot that comes with that set. So look at the daisy punches, the medium, and the regular daisy punch, the black matte dots. They're also on page 11 in the, in the current mini, right there. Here's the pot and the succulent set. So why am I showing you guys all of this? Because I want to show you how well Stampin' Up! combines things. You can put so many different things together to make a whole different look. The leaves, and this, this is, um, this is, the leaves and this are from Art Gallery. Here's the leaves, and here, You Are Lovely, and the die that cut out You Are Lovely, is also in the art gallery bundle. It's this one here. It's too long for this one, so I stamped it here, and then where I cut it off, I made sure that got tucked under the stem of the, of the daisy. So bl black and bumblebee works very well together. And then I used the colored pencils and the Stella to color in the pot. And in the assortment two color pencils, you'll find crushed curry. And it doesn't look like crushed curry when you're looking at it. I'm like, where's my curry? That looked more like a brown. But when you color with it, it is crushed curry. Okay. Love the daisy card. So let's see. Since so many people love this, so many different ones of the cards that I made today, I think the winner of next week's card should get to pick which one they want. Don't you think? You think so? Yeah? Okay. You guys are spoiled. <laughs> But I love spoiling you. And we had 30-something uh, people here today. That's wonderful. I love it. Um, so next week when I say whoever wins, 
I'm going to ask, you got to watch next week so, so you know, so you can pick one of these cards. And then I have one more bit of news. I'm going to try my best to start doing another live on Tuesdays. And I'm going to do that at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The reason I'm doing it at 1 o'clock in the afternoon is because my East Coast girls, this is awful late for them. It's after lunch. Um, hopefully it's a time when you, you're home and you have some time. Um, so Tuesday, this Tuesday at 1, I'm going to be back on live, same channel that you're on now. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to show you the cutest 3D project ever. And it's simple, simple, simple. And it's useful for February. That's all I'm going to tell you. You got to come back and see it. Um, so we'll see. And, and I'm going to do Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Tuesdays at 1 Pacific time. Tuesdays, I, I'm hoping can be all the time. Like Sundays are all the time. You can count on me. But you guys all know that my mom lives with me and that she has dementia and that, you know, things happen. So I don't want to overload myself. So that's why I'm saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it. I will definitely do it this Tuesday. And if everything works out, I can keep doing it every Tuesday. Because you know what? I miss you guys. It goes from Sunday to Sunday. I'm like, I miss my girls. So anyway, I have something really cute to show you. So I will show you that on Tuesday. You come back. Have a nice evening, nice sleep for those of you that it's 10 o'clock already, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.